Welcome back to KTSM 9 News. Today time is 635 and concerns about getting bacterial infections at nail salons have often crossed the client's mind, but a local nail salon owner is giving us the rundown on how to stay safe. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry joining us this morning to tell us more all about that. Jasmine, good to see you as always. Good morning, Brenda and Trevin. Good to see you as well. So you know how we love getting our nails done. A certified nail tech tells me getting your nails done is maintenance. So if you're getting gel manicures, she tells me if you ever want them off, you'll have to get them removed properly because if you wait too long, that can cause fungal and damage to your nails. When COVID hit, concerns were on the rise when getting a manicure and a pedicure during the pandemic. <laughs> nail salons had to close and nail techs had to ensure their customers the cleanliness of their tools. Nail, your nail could completely separate from the nail um, bed. There's, you can get like pus and again, infection build up underneath the nail bed as well, fungus, like, those are some, those are the most common ones. Kayla Hernandez is a certified pedicurist and an educator at Nail Vault. She specializes with diabetic pedicures. And she tells KTSM with protocols being upgraded, there's a lot of bacterial infections clients need to be aware of. Number one being cleaning and sanitizing your implements. So cleaning is just regular soap and water, scrubbing everything down, making sure you're getting all of the d dirt and debris off of it. Then after that, you're going to soak your implements and tools in a solution for the allotted amount of time. And then after that, usually what you'll see in a nail salon is like a heat or UV sterilizer. I don't have one of those here. I actually use an autoclave, which is not required, but it is a step above. Adding that many nail salons are using cheese graters on feet. Those actually really damage the skin on your feet. Um, they cause micro tears in the skin. So even though it might be, oh, my feet are smooth. It's doing more damage than good at the end of the day. But it's doing more harm than good. Because you never want to remove a full callus. You want to reduce it. Our, our feet and our hands build callus for a reason. And so the, if you remove them, it's gonna, your body's going to reproduce it because it's trying to protect wherever the callus is. And if they are using the same tools they used on the last person, Hernandez says it is legal to ask for cleaning records before getting a pedicure. They're required to write down every single time they clean that basin, daily and after every client. Hernandez tells me, unfortunately, it is very common to see green underneath your nail and it is more likely that water and bacteria is trapped underneath. So make sure to get your nails properly clean two to three weeks, every two to three weeks. Guys, right, Jasmine, <laughs> and you know what? Actually, we've been seeing a lot of these reports. Uh, people, unfortunately, heading to the nail salon, picking up some sort of infection. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jasmine, I had mentioned to you, uh, when I do go to the nail salon, sometimes I do look around, see if it looks clean. If it does not look clean enough for me, uh, I end up walking out. You're out of there. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that is why Hernandez says, like, you can ask uh, for the, the records. Logs. Yeah, to see if they have cleaned their stuff. So don't be afraid to ask. It's, it's important because you're the one that's getting that treatment. You know, when you see those nail tools, you want to make sure that they're cleaned and because they use them on every client. Mm -hmm. So some important information there. Ask for those logs, Trevor, if you head out. Uh, yeah. Next time I go, <laughs> if, I, if I ever do, uh, I'll be sure to ask for the logs. No, it's, it's the same as going to a restaurant or anything. You see dirty utensils or plates, you're going to think maybe this isn't the place for me. Well, mm -hmm. I have head an out, idea. So. Let's all get Maddie's <laughs> right. and Petty's together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Rain, I'll take a rain check. All right, Rox. Thanks so much for that information.